Blender again, and this is my EdTech 533 Final Reflection video. In this video, I'm going to talk about five things. I'm going to talk about what I have learned this semester. I'm going to discuss my evolving opinion on YouTube in education. I'm going to talk about how how my teaching has been impacted by what I have done this semester, how I am going to use or am using what we have done this semester, and finally I'm going to talk about the uh, AECT standards and what I have done during the semester to master those. So let's begin with the first question on what were the things I've learned this semester. What are the most important things I learned this semester? Well, I learned a lot, but I'm going to go with three key elements. The first one was reestablishing a work ethic. I had taken five courses before this one at Boise State, and I've received an A or an A plus in every one so far. And I thought, well, this one is about YouTube and education so I wasn't sure exactly what we we're gonna do but I didn't think it would be as hard as it was and I quickly found out that I did have to really really work hard in this class uh, it was a great experience though um, but I realized that I totally misjudged this class from the beginning and if you're taking this class be prepared to work for 15 to 16 weeks. The second one was continually developing my search skills. Oftentimes I had a question and while I would post on the sharing forum, while you're waiting for someone to answer, you can't just sit there and wait. You have to be proactive. So I would start searching for the answer. I know with my pan and zoom feature of my a special effects video uh, I wasn't sure how to utilize that feature in Adobe Premiere Elements and so I searched around found it was hard finding any good videos but it took a while and I did find one and it helped me to finish that project and then finally there are very few math videos that are entertaining and I found out why. It's hard to create a math video that's entertaining. I really, really had to push myself to try to make my videos entertaining. I know entertaining is not the most important feature of a video, but it is helpful when you want students to be engaged to at least provide a little bit of entertainment and not just a bland, well, this is how you do it video. So those are my three key pieces of information that I learned this semester. Uh, Reestablishing my work ethic, continuing to develop my search skills, and why there are so few entertaining math videos. Before this class started, I was in favor of YouTube in education. And now, I'm more in favor of YouTube in education. I stated in the last question that I was uncertain what to expect from this class. I didn't know what the projects would be like. I kind of thought that we would be learning of how to use YouTube in our classroom, you know, how to use the videos that are out there on YouTube, to teach lessons and such. But I quickly found out that we were going to learn how to create our own videos. And we learned some very, very good different video formats to use. You know, there was the remix video, there was the PowerPoint movies, there was using special effects, and there was the interactive video. And while those were taught separately in the, in the course of actually doing videos in the future, 
I plan on using different pieces of all those elements in one or more video. Uh, the, the remix videos were great because you could find a way to take things that might not necessarily be part of a subject of teaching and find a way to use them. The PowerPoint movie was an interesting way to use PowerPoint to put on a presentation and that wasn't anything like a PowerPoint presentation that you usually watch. I found the special effects um, videos to be a lot more user friendly than I thought they were going to. Sometimes you try something and they, everybody says it's always real easy to do and then when you sit down and do it and it's really difficult and hard. Um, I found that Adobe Premiere Elements makes it rather easy to add special effects to make your videos look really good. And then the interactive quiz for interactive videos, storybook telling. I found that a, a very interesting thing to do with YouTube. Uh, very time consuming uh, until you get used to it. But a great way to use videos and present information and to allow your students to work their way through a story or work their way through a quiz. So my opinion on YouTube and education is even more in favor of it than when I started. And I hope that I can use what I've learned today to convince um, where I work to try to free up some of the restrictions we have on YouTube. My teaching was impacted in three ways by this experience. One, it pushed me to be more creative than I thought I could be. I stated earlier that I found it hard to create entertaining math videos. So I really, really had to think, and maybe you can go back to my high school days of being in drama occasionally to uh, develop a very, very entertaining uh, lesson that was also educational. It renewed my energy. Um, I'm about halfway through this program and I guess, you know, that not having not been in class for a while, after about five classes over five semesters, I was starting to get worn down a little bit and so this class um, was able to renew those energies because I had to be very, very uh, engaged in it. And finally, I really have a desire to share what I've learned um, with my fellow teachers, uh, show them the videos I created, uh, and teach them that it's not that difficult for them to do likewise. And hopefully get them to be a little bit more involved with uh, videos and YouTube in education. So again, my teaching has been impacted by pushing me to be more creative, renewing my energy, and instilling a desire to share what I've learned. I will be utilizing what I've learned this semester right away in my new position as a pre-college instructor. I'll be dealing with students that are getting ready to go to community college. So I have to prepare them for their placement tests, uh, teach them study skills, and just in general prepare them for the transition to college life. So I have to create a whole bunch of new lesson plans. I'll deal with different subjects, not just math. And so I plan on using videos that I create in the, these classes. I'll have access to Promethean Board again so I can show these videos. And even though I will have limited access to YouTube, I have found workarounds such as downloading the videos. And even with the idea of the interactive video, uh, the software for the Promethean Board will allow me to create an interactive um, storybook or quiz 
using those videos that I um, create. And I'm also a instructor of professional development for my fellow teachers. And one of the lessons or one of the projects I did for this class, the special effects project, which dealt with teaching people how to use the Vokey um, website. I'm going to be using that for professional development training of my staff um, this winter. So I've already had plans with my new position and with my um, professional development position to utilize what I've learned in this semester. The three projects I chose um, to talk about in reference to the standard were the PowerPoint movie, which was on adding and subtracting integers, my special effects video, which was the pan and zoom feature, and the interactive video, which was a Roman numeral quiz. And the standard they mostly dealt with were content knowledge, content pedagogy, and learning environments. The PowerPoint movie on integers, well, that was 15 years in the making. Uh, I originally had the concept of teaching integers using the idea of houses and using the penny with Abraham Lincoln and the nickel with Thomas Jefferson when I was tutoring approximately 15 years ago. It was designed to provide students with a visual understanding of how addition and subtraction of integers work, you know, especially when you're dealing with positive or negative integers and how they're different depending on which one is which. And it was designed to replace the misconstrued rules. Students get confused between multiplication and division where two negatives make a positive and those rules don't apply with addition or subtraction necessarily. The pan and zoom was inspired by having watched too many videos that were difficult to view because they didn't zoom in on the area that you needed to see. And I designed that specifically for professional development and we'll use it for professional development classes this winter. And the Roman numerals quiz, it was meant to be an experiment in entertaining education. Uh, Roman numerals aren't a key element of mathematics that needs to be taught. So sometimes with those type of lessons, you know, you want to make it a little bit more fun and lively for the students. And so I hope um, my rendition of General Mathemus will do that. So I believe that I have demonstrated mastery of the standard by using all these different tools and choosing the tools specifically for the task. Um, I thought that the PowerPoint movie was the best way to demonstrate the adding and subtracting of integers. And again, as I said, I specifically wanted to pan and zoom feature for my professional development because I've seen too many uh, professional development videos that were hard to see because they didn't zoom in. And I wanted my interactive quiz to be entertaining. And then finally I developed lessons for different audiences. Um, I was developing some lessons for students, some lessons for teachers, and you have to think differently for each of those audiences how you're going to present the information. So I want to wrap up this reflection by saying that this has been the most frustrating, rewarding experience I've had so far at Boise State. Frustrating in that 
things didn't always work as I wanted them to. And in the case of my interactive quiz, the links still aren't working right. But I'll keep working at getting them fixed. And rewarding in that I have found great ways to use videos in the classroom other than just to show video on how to do something. And so I just look forward to creating more videos for my students, for my fellow teachers, and as General Mathemus would say, for the glory of Rome! Thank you.